Hello children, welcome back to the digital classes. I hope you are all doing well and you might all be excited to learn some new and interesting concepts in this session. So, without wasting much time, let us start our session children. It is festival time children. Yes, that too Sankranti. So, I think you love flying the kite children? Of course, why not? You might be excited to fly these kites. And if you notice, these kites are so colorful and with different patterns and shapes. Did you notice that children? Yes. You can see these are the different types of kites and the patterns. Not only that children, even during this festival, you might have seen Rangoli in front of each and everybody's house. Isn't that children? Yes. And it looks so beautiful with different colors filled. Isn't it? Yes. Do you know children what these are called as? Yes, these figures, the rangoli, the kites and patterns, they are called symmetry. Children, do you know what is symmetry? Okay, in our session, we are going to learn about symmetry and its applications. By the end of this session, you will learn line symmetry, lines of symmetry and also multiple lines of symmetry. So, first let us start with line symmetry children. Symmetry, now this word you might have seen in mathematics, right. Now, what actually is symmetry? Now, this symmetry is a Greek word which means to measure together and is mostly used in the study of geometry. Mathematically, symmetry means that one shape becomes exactly like another one when you move it in some way, whether you might turn that object or flip the object or even you may slide the object. Okay, children. So, that is what symmetry is. Look at this smiley. Now, I will draw a line exactly in the middle and vertically. Now, what happens? Let us see children. Wow! It gets divided into two equal parts. Is not it children? Yes. The line which is drawn has divided it into two equal parts or in other words, I can say two congruent parts. What do you mean by congruent parts children? Yes. They do have same shape and also same size. Now, take a look at this monument shown children. Could you identify this? That is right. That is gateway of India. Do you know where it is? You are right once again. It is in Mumbai. Is not it children? Now, let us draw a vertical line as shown and see what happens. Wow! Again, the great monument is divided into two congruent parts. Is not that children? Yes. Now, take a look at the mirror shown. Now, I will write a word noon. Now, what is the image formed on this mirror children? Let us see. Now, let us see about alphabet now. Now, I place the alphabet A in front of the mirror. Now, let us see its image. It looks the same, is not it? Now, let us go for another alphabet that is B. Now, what will be its image children? Yes. Do you notice any change? Yes, it appears as the reversed object, right? Now, take a look at another one that is C. Can you guess? Yes, you are right. We have seen what are symmetrical objects and also some of the images of alphabet. Now, based on these observations, let us do a small activity so that you will be perfect with identifying the image of this alphabet. Let us see. Now, here are the alphabets shown here and their respective images. Now, let us match them. First one is E. Children, can you guess what is the image of E? That is great. Now, next one is R. What is its image? You are right once again. The next alphabet is S and its image is marked and the next alphabet L, 
and its mirror image is exactly right. Let us see the final one T. Yes, already we have seen about the smiley and the gateway of India, is not it children? Now, these two are called symmetric objects and you can see a line which is passing vertically and is dividing it into two equal or congruent parts. Now, let us take an example of this beautiful butterfly. Now, let us draw a vertical line as shown. Now, even this vertical line divide this butterfly into two equal parts or if you are going to fold along this vertical line, one part exactly coincides with the other. Okay, children. Let us take one more example. Take a look at the image of this person. Now, let us draw a vertical line and here in this case also, if you fold along the vertical line, it exactly coincides. Okay, children. Now, these objects look beautiful, is not it children? Because they are symmetric. Now, if figures are folded along the dotted line such that each part coincides with other part exactly, then it is called line symmetry. So, children till now what all the examples we have seen, the vertical line which is dividing into two congruent parts, it is an example of line symmetry and the line which is dividing or say which the paper is folded is called the line of symmetry or even we call it as axis of symmetry. So, children in this case what is the line of axis of symmetry? Yes, the vertical line as shown in the figure. Okay, children? Let us take few more example to understand better about the line of symmetry. Take a look at this car. Now, let us draw a vertical line. Now, if you fold this along this vertical line, will it be symmetric children? No, it would not be symmetric. Now, then is it not symmetric object? Let us see. So, vertically it is not symmetric, but it does not mean that the object is not symmetric only. Now, let us draw horizontal line. If you fold along this horizontal line, you will see that both the sides will coincide or both forms congruent parts. So, we call it as a symmetric object. So, it need not be always vertical children, it can be horizontal also. So, I can say the lines of symmetry can be horizontal or vertical or even it can be diagonal also children. Now, let us draw the same lines of symmetry for English alphabet also. Okay, children, let us start. Let us consider our first alphabet A. I am going to draw a vertical line. Okay, children. Now, if you fold along this vertically, then it will be exactly symmetric. So, we call it as vertical line of symmetry. Now, let us see the next alphabet B. Now, I will draw the vertical line and if you fold it, Will it coincide children? No. So, that means, it is not symmetric about the vertical line, but B is you cannot say B is not symmetric. Now, let us see about horizontal line. Now, when you draw horizontal line and fold it, you will see that it is symmetric. So, we say this is horizontal line of symmetry. So, here I can say both A and B has only one line of symmetry. Got it children? How many number of lines of symmetry are there for A and B? Yes, it is just one line of symmetry. Now, let us say consider the case of alphabet C. Now, horizontal line of symmetry I will draw or I will just draw a horizontal line. When you fold it along it, it is exactly symmetric. So, we say horizontal line of symmetry. So, C has horizontal line of symmetry. Let us consider the alphabet G. We will draw vertical line and fold along it. It will not coincide or it is, it is not dividing into two congruent parts. So, it is not symmetric. Then let us draw horizontally also. Even if you draw horizontally also, it is not symmetric. So, I can say C has one line of symmetry, whereas G has no line of symmetry. 
till now we have seen how to draw lines of symmetry for objects as well as for English alphabet. Now, let us see whether an object has more than one line of symmetry. Let us check. Let us consider the case of a rectangle. So, children you can see a rectangle on your screen. Now, I will draw a vertical line and fold along the vertical line. So, it is exactly going to coincide right children. Then it has one vertical line of symmetry. Now, let us draw horizontal line also and see if you fold horizontally also then also it is symmetric. So, it has even one horizontal line of symmetry. So, I can say children a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Now, let us consider another example of a square. So, square you know children already a square is a figure in which all the sides are equal right. Now, I will draw horizontal line and vertical line and notice that both the cases it is symmetric. So, it has one vertical line of symmetry and another one horizontal line of symmetry. Now, let us check whether diagonal symmetry is possible for this. Yes, I have drawn one diagonal, you know diagonal that is line joining the opposite vertices. We can draw another diagonal also and folding along this diagonal also you notice they form congruent figures. So, it has even diagonal line of symmetry. So, altogether how many lines of symmetry are there children? If we count, yes, one horizontal, one vertical, whereas two diagonal. So, that means it has overall four lines of symmetry. Okay, children. So, let us see about alphabet also whether they too have multiple lines of symmetry or not. So, consider the alphabet H. Yes, I am going to draw a horizontal line and if you fold along this, yes, it will coincide. Okay, children. Again, if I draw a vertical line and fold along this vertical line, then also it gets coincide. So, how many lines of symmetry are there? Yes, one vertical line of symmetry, the other one horizontal line of symmetry. So, altogether it has two lines of symmetry. So, even alphabet can also have more than one line of symmetry. So, let us do one activity by paper cutting method. Okay, children, let us see. So, children for this you need to have a rectangular sheet of paper, a colored paper or even you can have a plain white sheet also. Okay, children and then you need a pen and a scissor to do this activity. Okay, children, let us start. Now, let us fold this rectangular paper okay, exactly in the middle so that it get coincide. See, now this line I already said it is you can see here exactly the folding. So, this is a rectangle and this line is formed. Now, this line is vertical line of symmetry. Okay, children. Now, suppose if I fold this say horizontally, now I folded this horizontally, you can see a line mark seen here, right? Now, this is horizontal line of symmetry. Okay, children. So, this rectangle has two lines of symmetry, one is the horizontal one, the other one is the vertical one. Okay, children. Now, let us see what the activity is. Now, I am going to fold it like this okay. and you draw any pattern whichever you want. Now, I will just draw a pattern and I will show it to you. So, I am already drawing a pattern over here okay. and you can draw whatever shape you want. Okay, children. Just I am going to draw this and show to you. Just see. Yeah. So, I have drawn a shape of this type. Okay, children, have a close look at it. Okay. You can see. Yes, this is the shape I have drawn. You can use any other shape, children. Okay. Now, we are going to cut along this border, children, and see whether we get a symmetric object or not. Okay, children, let us see.
So, children I have just cut this part okay? and now let us open this and see, see children what actually you are going to get see exactly a symmetric figure. Can you notice the line is exactly dividing this figure into two congruent faces like suppose if I fold it you get equal halves. Now, when I unfold this you can see the exact image which is nothing but the symmetric object ok children can you see it clearly? Yes. So, this is one activity with a rectangular sheet of paper ok. Now, let us perform the same with a square sheet also ok children let us do it. Let us take this square sheet ok and folding along its diagonal see ok. So, it is exactly coinciding if you notice. So, this is one diagonal line of symmetry. Now, similarly if I fold the other way also other diagonal also if you notice again it exactly coincides. So, this is another diagonal line of symmetry. So, two diagonals of lines of symmetry. Then again we have one horizontal and one vertical also I have already shown you. So, if you consider this as vertical then you can do the other one also that is horizontal. So, overall you have see how many four lines of symmetry see one horizontal one vertical this is one diagonal and this another diagonal there are four lines of symmetry for this square ok. Now, let us do the activity. So, I am folding this along the horizontal line and then along its vertical line see like this I am doing again you make any design of your choice ok. So, I will just do it. So, children, so this is the design or the pattern which I made. It is very simple, you can do it any design which you want, ok. And we will cut along this. Let us see. Now, children I have cut it into, into this shape if you notice and just unfold it and see what you are going to get. See you got a beautiful design right. So, using any mathematical say shapes or anything you can draw this beautiful figure which is symmetric if you notice. See if I fold it you get exactly into two equal parts right. So, this is a symmetric figure. It looks beautiful children you can do with any type of design whichever you want and show to your teacher. I hope you understood children how to cut symmetric objects ok using a paper ok children. But children be careful when you are cutting the paper using a scissor ok. You see that you are going to do this activity in front of your parents ok. Children let us see the applications of these lines of symmetry or symmetry in our daily life. Let us see. If you take a look at these monuments like the Taj Mahal or the Eiffel Tower etcetera or the pyramids also, they all use this symmetry or the objects are symmetry. So, we use in the field of architecture. So, not only that children, if you see this beautiful painting, 
So, this is also symmetric. So, it is also used in art also this symmetry. Then next moving on to this Rangoli. Now, these Rangoli figures whichever we see they are all symmetric objects. So, that is why they look very beautiful children. So, we use it in Rangoli also. Not only that children, even if you see in textile industry also, you might have seen the saris or the dress materials which are say weaved in a particular pattern. So, they are also examples of line of symmetry or symmetry. So, children, let us start with the first problem. Check whether the given figures are symmetric or not and also draw the line of symmetry as well. So, here are the figures shown on your screen. Let us start with the first figure. Now, let us draw a vertical line as shown on your screen and if you fold along this, it exactly coincides or I can just divide it. See, if you see those two parts which are divided, they are exactly congruent parts or they get coincided. So, I can say the given object is symmetric and we have drawn one line of symmetry. Let us move on to our next object children, the smiley. We have already seen right children? Yes. We will draw a vertical line and if you divide it, see we get two equal or congruent parts. That is if you fold along this vertical line, they get coincided. So, I can say even this smiley is also symmetric. Let us move on to a final object children. Yes, here if you notice it is a parallelogram, is not it children? Let us draw a vertical line. Now, if you fold along this vertical line, it would not get coincided. So, it does not have vertical line of symmetry. Now, let us see about horizontal children. Yes, I am drawing a horizontal line and even if you fold along this, it would not be symmetric. Even diagonal also it is not possible. So, I can say this object which is given is not a symmetric object. I think you understood children. Let us move on to our next question. Draw lines of symmetry for each of the following figures wherever possible. Okay, children, first one and the second one. Let us start with the solution. Consider the first object. So, now we will draw actually it is given as a symmetric, just we need to draw the lines of symmetry. So, first let us draw the vertical line. If you fold along this vertical line, yes, it gets coincided or uh, it divides it into congruent parts. So, it has one vertical line of symmetry. Now, let us check whether it has horizontal line of symmetry. Yes, when you are drawing a horizontal line and fold along it, then also it gets coincided that is the both the parts, the one which is above and the one which is below both get coincided. So, it has how many lines of symmetry children? Yes, two lines of symmetry. Let us move on to our next object. Yeah, this is the object. Now, here I cannot draw horizontal or vertical. So, I will draw a slanting line. You can call it as a diagonally. Okay, children. So, when I draw this and fold along it, you see that the object get coincided. That is both the parts, one above the line and the one which is below the line both will coincide. And if you draw any other lines at any part or anywhere, it will never coincide. So, it has only one line of symmetry children. Let us move on to a next question. Complete the figure such that the dotted line is the line of symmetry. So, here is the first figure and the second one. So, what actually we are going to do children? There is a dotted line given. So, that is nothing but the line of symmetry. Now, only one part of the line of symmetry is given the other symmetric part we have to draw. Okay, children. So, let us start with the solution. So, consider the first image. Yes. So, what do you see children here? This is the horizontal line of symmetry. Am I right? Okay. So, if you notice here. So, here if you see this dotted line is the line of symmetry, horizontal line of symmetry. The about part is given and this entire figure which is going to be drawn should be symmetric. That means, the other side also should look the same way. So, see this line slanting line, measure it and draw it on the other side. Okay, children, let us see how to draw. Okay. So, we have drawn that and there is one more line 
which is downwards. So, since it is downwards, so here it should go upwards. How much? Same distance. Let us draw that also. Got it? Right. Now, there is one more horizontal line here. Now, just measure the length and draw the same line horizontally. Yes, this is how we draw. Then again, we need to join this with this edge. That is it. Let us join that. Yes. Now, if you notice children, the image which is formed is perfectly symmetric, right? But there is no color over here, right? So, let us color that also children, so that it looks beautiful, right? Now, if you see children, the object which is formed by drawing on the other side of the line of symmetry, see the complete image is formed which looks exactly like a symmetric object, right? Is not it symmetric children? Yes, it is symmetric about this horizontal line. Now, let us go for the next image children. Yes, this one. Here also we do the same thing. So, first we are going to draw a slanting line. So, whose length is same as this length? Okay. And then we have another line. So, measure the length of that and draw it as shown. And then what we are going to do? We are going to join this part with this part. Let us join it. Yes, you can see the image formed. It is a perfectly symmetric object. I hope you understood the solution children. Okay. So, children, till now we have learnt the concept of symmetry, how to draw lines of symmetry and also we have learnt some of the applications of lines of symmetry. Now, before we end our session, let us quickly recap what we have learnt. Symmetry is that one shape is exactly like the other shape when it is moved, rotated or flipped. A figure is said to have line symmetry if a line can be drawn dividing the figure into two identical parts and this line is called a line of symmetry or even it is called as axis of symmetry. A figure may have no line of symmetry or only one line of symmetry, two lines of symmetry or it can have more than that, that is multiple lines of symmetry. Symmetry has plenty of applications in our everyday life children that is in the field of art, architecture, textile industry, design creation, geometrical reasoning, Rangkoli and many children. So, children, I would like to give you some questions that you need to answer and show to your teacher. So, let us see those questions children. Write the letters of English alphabet A to Z and find out which have vertical lines of symmetry, horizontal lines of symmetry and no lines of symmetry and draw any five objects which have a line of symmetry. Draw any five objects which are not symmetric. Draw any two objects which have more than two lines of symmetry and finally, draw any two objects which have four lines of symmetry. Children, with this we come to the end of our session. I hope you have learnt all the concepts clearly and I want you all to complete the assignment given to you at the end of this session and submit to your teacher. So, with this we will end our session, we will meet in our next digital class. Until then, goodbye and take care.